process here. I have um, already put a piece of tape on each of the corners of the leading edge spar and that's just for reinforcing and uh, I've also used my uh, soldering iron which I use this kind of just a battery operated one that works pretty well and uh, put some holes right at the outside edge of the heat shrink stop that I glued to the leading edge spar before I installed it and I did that on both sides. I also uh, put holes in the leading edge spar on the outside of each of the stops I put on for bridle stops. And I've attached the bridle to the kite. It's a three-point bridle. Uh, this is actually an inch and a half on either side of the spine is where I decided to put the bridle. But why did I use the stops? Why didn't I just glue the knot that I tied to the leading edge spar of the, with the upper yoke of the bridle? Why didn't I just glue that there? Well, I think that's a very good way to do it. And many kite makers do it, including me, on some kites. But I also have found that if I use a stop, and glue the stop, I can use a slip knot for the bridle connection and that slip knot will allow the line to rotate around the spar. Now, in some instances that may not be <laughs> what you want to have happen, but uh, I think it may allow the kite to fly with a little better uh, response, although I'm not 100% sure. I make them both ways and frankly cannot tell any difference <laughs> one to the other. And then I did decide to put the uh, lower bridle connection point right at the center, right at the cross point of the crossbars and the spine, right here. Now I'm going to make the uh, tension line. And what I use for the bridle on this kite, and what I'm going to use for the tension line, is a fishing line, a braided Dacron 16-pound test uh, fishing line that I bought from uh, Cabela's. I cut a piece of line that's about oh, six inches long and folded it in half and tied a knot to make a loop. I have another piece of line that's about, oh, maybe 30 inches long, probably longer than it needs to be. Uh, actually, it's about three feet long. I'm going to attach, using a double lark's head knot or a prussic knot, uh, this loop to the line, anywhere along the line. I put the loop under the line and I poke the knot through the loop once, which would be a uh, if I pulled it tight, that would be a uh, lark's head knot. But I poke the knot through again, and now the line is wrapped, uh, the loop is wrapped twice around the line, and I pull that tight, and that is called a prussic knot. And the reason I use that is it is a uh, strong when it hold it it's, it uh, holds its position more strongly when it's locked than a. Lark's head knot does. And on a tension line, I think that's probably a good idea. Now what I'm going to do is simply uh, put the uh, line, or maybe we'll use the other, other side. E either side will work, whatever hole will accept the line. I'm going to put the uh, loop we just uh, knotted to the line. I'm going to lark's head that by just sticking the loop itself through one of the holes, wrap it around uh, the leading edge spar, and I'm going to pull the knot on the line that we just made through the loop, and I'm going to pull all of the line, both pieces, through it, 
and then I'm simply going to pull it tight towards the back of the kite. So that's now Lark's headed onto that end. Next I'm going to tie the other end of the line, one of the ends, to the uh, other end of the leading edge spar. And with this you can use any knot that will hold well. And I think I will glue this one. The tension, knot, tension line knots sometimes take an awful lot of the stress. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pull the other end of the line. Don't have to have it all twisted up. Pull the other end of the line here. I hope you can see that. So that is just snug, or maybe not quite. I'm going to cut the line, and I'm going to tie a little loop at the end. This will be what I'll use to pull the uh, tension line tight. You just put a knot there, something just to grab onto really is all you need. And then the way to tension it, the way I do it anyway, is I pre-tension. I uh, use my body most of the time, and I just put one end of the leading edge spar against my body and just compress it so that it bends. And then I pull this tension line and get whatever bend I want, and then pull that line, the, uh, the part I use to adjust it, I just pull it towards the end that's tied, and that will hold it, and it's now ready to fly. Can't wait to see this beautiful kite in the air.